Hi, church girls. Have you ever thought about maybe, just maybe, the reason why you have not met your Boaz is because of this? Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever given it some thought about, you know what? I'm always talking bad about marriage. I'm always talking about me bad, bad about men, bad about Boaz. I'm always talking about how don't nobody love me. Ain't nobody going to want me. I'm not pretty enough. Have you ever thought that maybe, just maybe, that's why you have not met your Boaz yet? Have you thought about it? That's what we're going to talk about today. How to speak the life that you want. And we're getting back to Mindset Reset. This is going to be day six of Mindset Reset. Psalm 19 and 14 says, Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. So here he, the Lord is saying, let the words that I speak be acceptable in your sight, O God. And we know that we need to speak God's word. Okay. Let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart. And in our next video, we're going to talk about the meditation of our heart. How what's in our hearts come out. We talk about what are we hearing when certain guys are speaking to us. They say that one thing that gets you going. You know he's no good for you. But he says something and you hear him and you start... Mm. Mm. All right, you can come over, girl, stop. Or you see something, okay? And we're talking about saying. When I was single, I never spoke a bad word about my husband. I would pray. I have a book coming out, a reprint, Moments of Gratitude. I was reading over those prayers. I prayed for my husband, how I was praying, God bless him, protect and cover him. He's a good man. He's faithful. He have eyes for me. He will find me, not God show me who he is. He will find me. I need him to find me. Okay, we will be in the right place at the right time. I'm repositioning myself. I'm going to reposition myself. Every time I went out of my house, I said, girl, today is the day I'm going to meet my husband. I will say, today is my day. Joyce Meyer said, today is your day um, for a miracle. Um, or is that Benny Hinn? This is your day. Benny Hinn says, this is your day. Joyce Meyer says, something good is going to happen to me today. Yeah, I wrote that down, Joyce. I said, something good is going to happen to me today. And every time I stepped out my door, I said, today's the day that I'm going to meet my husband. I was speaking into existence what I wanted. I was speaking faith. Death. And life is in the power of your tongue. Uh, you will have what you say. And you will eat the fruit thereof. I was, I forgot to get a pillow. But I heard this story one time in one of my devotionals. I read it of a man who was talking to someone about gossiping. He had lied on someone. And so he got a pillow. He went on top of a mountain. He opened up the pillow and he took all the, all the stuff out of the pillow. And the wind blew it. And then he said to the person, now go and pick all of them up. That's what it. That's what words are when you gossip or when you speak your words. That's how it is. So all of those words that you speak is going to come back for you. It's going to bear you a fruit. And so now uh, David says, let the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart. What am I thinking about? Be acceptable in God's sight, O oh Lord. And so some of us, my sisters, you just might have to wonder, maybe, just maybe I haven't met him yet because of the things I've been saying, you know. Girl, I'm so fat. Don't nobody want me. I've been waiting for so long. I ain't never going to meet my husband. Mm -mm. You can't say that. Earlier, we talked about being discouraged and how we need a faith shift. Shift your faith and talk about something else. Concentrate about something else. Pray about something else. Believe God for something else and about something else. And then when you have built up yourself in your most holy faith and you are encouraged, you can come back over here. But sister, I'm encouraging you to stop speaking negatively about your husband about being found about getting married you speak it everybody want to marry you mm -hmm. 
Now you're just going to have to use wisdom to choose, okay? To, when you go to the store, you're going to dress up and fix yourself, or you're going to say, somebody's going to come up to me and talk to me today. You at the restaurant, you're going to speak and say, very nice gentleman was going to talk, come up and talk to me today. When I was believing God, you know, I was believing God for my husband. People thought my standards was too high. Girl, you ain't going to meet nobody like that. I was like, mm-mm, I know what I wanted. And these guys would be coming up to meet with me. They were living in their mama's basement. They ain't had no job. And I'm like, child, I ain't talking to you. I am not living in anybody's basement. And I would speak what I wanted. I would speak the type of man I wanted. My husband is the type of man I've been praying for. And you know, I can't do no broke man, honey. Because my daddy told me a man is to provide. A man is to put a roof. The least a man can do is put a roof over his wife's head and food on her table. So when I was praying and believing God, I was praying and believing God for a provider. And I always said, Lord, there must be at least one saved black man on Wall Street that is looking for a wife. That's me. Y'all, guess where my husband worked when I met him? Just take a guess. Take a guess where my husband worked when I met him. Mm -hmm. Leave it in the comment for me. Guess where my husband worked when I met him. I just want you to think about that and leave it in the comment for me. Death and life is in your tongue. You will have what you say. Stop saying ain't nobody wants you. Stop saying you're fat. If you're fat, do something about it. If you're not happy with your fat, then you need to do something about it. Okay? Stop saying you're broke. You will never hear me say I'm broke. You will never hear me, heard me say when I was single, don't nobody want me. Everybody wanted me. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to begin to speak what you want. We're talking about mindset reset. And, and as a matter of fact, we might as well throw the dating part in there. Dating mindset reset. How we have to renew our minds about dating. And I'm going to talk about that in my next video because church folks have messed us up. Talk about we don't date. Christians don't date. What is dating? We need to talk about that. Okay. So my sisters, I want you to remember as you go about your day, about dating mindset reset, how you need to begin to speak the life you want. Whatever you want to happen in your life, you need to speak it. You need to speak it every day. When you pray every day, you need to begin to speak it. Put it in your speech. Think about that thing. Okay, write it down. Put it on your wall. So every time you go in the fridge, it's there on the fridge. Every time you go in the back, when I'm believing God for something, I type it up and put it all over my, my, my house. It's on the mirror when I put my lotion on. It's in the bathroom when I'm brushing my teeth. It's on my door. I have some stuff on the mirror right now I'm believing God for. And thank God it's a big size mirror. My husband can still use it. Okay, but I write it and I put it all over my house. Why? Because I want to see it. Every time I turn, I want to see it so I can speak it. All right, my sisters, please remember to subscribe. Please comment and tell me, where do you think my husband worked when I met him? For years and years and years, I said, there must be at least one saved black man on Wall Street that's looking for a wife. Guess where my husband worked when I met him? Put it in the comments. Please subscribe. If you have not, press the red uh, subscription button and then press the bell so that you can be notified when I'm on and also please remember to share and if you have a single friend or somebody anybody church girl anybody who want who need to hear this please share this with them thank you so much uh, church girls my princess sisters I love you I love you I love you I'm praying for you I'm believing God for you and with you Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for your support. I so appreciate it. God bless you. Have a wonder, 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 wonderful day. Bye.